Hello Aquarius viewers. Um, so I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they may be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. I do feel like you have someone coming back around. I do feel that energy. Somebody, I feel a very emotional energy from someone, like a very nostalgic, very um, just open energy, like somebody kind of having these epiphanies and realizing that you're the love of their life and they don't want to lose you. Somebody pushing past fear finally. I really love this group because I love the um, the love story here that I channel for this group. Is you, you have somebody that you've had a lot of past life connections with. Like you, you guys are both very old souls, probably warrior souls for this group. I get, um, I keep, I keep channeling this love story. I think you guys were alive during like that, like an Irish or Scottish rebellion. I see you guys leading a rebellion together and you know, you died and your person had to watch you die in a past life. And this has caused trauma and they're, they're terrified or this could be vice versa. Maybe this, they died in a past life and so you're terrified of losing them and you can't tell why they're terrified why you're so terrified i think for the majority of you though i think that you died in front of them in a past life and this was during this was like a long time ago some kind of rebellion or something that you guys were leading together and you got killed in a pretty brutal way very violent way and it traumatized them so much that in this lifetime they're just terrified of losing you like they're just so afraid of losing you and they don't even understand why they're so afraid they don't understand they just they don't understand why they're so afraid they don't understand why there's this like negativity there like they just they they don't understand why um you know their fear of commitment their anxiety with you like they don't get it but um but yeah you guys are very old souls this is a very ancient past life connection so i'm excited to see what's going on with you guys here and if this is your story please let me know because i'm so curious because i keep telling this story and i'm sure it's for a select few of you but I'd, I'd like to you know see what's up with you guys i also have a raffle going on so if you donate a dollar to me through cash app or paypal or facebook pay that works too um, you'll be entered into the raffle to re to win a free in-depth video reading and the winner will be announced on the 22nd and I don't really get that many donations so your odds even just buying one raffle ticket for a tall your odds are pretty good actually um, so my my information to donate is below just put raffle ticket in the description and put your email All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. What is going on with your love life? So what is your person thinking? Like, what are they wanting? What action are they going to be taking towards you? I feel the energy of epiphanies. So I think that this person has been scared. And I don't know if they're necessarily, like, aware of the past life connection. But I think that they're finally starting to realize, like, this life is different. Like, you guys have the chance to break those patterns of trauma and loss and heartbreak in your past lives. This is probably a twin flame connection or, you know, at least a soulmate. I think for a lot of you, it's a twin flame connection because I see it like a very ancient connection. Like you guys have been together. You guys always find each other. It's like that kind of true love story where it's like no matter how hard things are, you guys just you you gravitate towards each other. So this is this is a life partner is what I feel here. Okay, let's see what's up truth and clarity yeah past life see these two go together these two that's why we're putting oh sorry <laughs> truth and clarity here soulmate past life connection soul contract so i do think that they're having epiphanies they might be having dreams or they might just becoming more spiritual and becoming aware that this is you know, an ancient connection, they might be aware that it's a twin flame connection. They might be aware that they're repeating patterns from past lives. I think they just have this awareness that they don't want to lose you. Like they're, they're coming to terms with the fact that, that you are the love of their life, that they're not going to find you in somebody else, that there's not going to be a relationship that's just easier or different. Like they're, they're just coming to, to terms with the fact that you are what they want even if it terrifies them. You know what I mean? Like they're kind of making up their mind that they do want this. So they are working past their fear. We've got adventure, honeymoon, vacation, mental instability. What do we have here? 
waiting, hoping, praying, anger, miscommunication, end of a pattern, cycle, breakthrough, finances, career, sense of a home, sense of belonging, home, safe space, and submissive and weak willed. So I feel like there could have been miscommunication in the past, or maybe they just seemed cold or angry or guarded. Um, I feel like it was just, again, it was just the mental instability. It was just like that fear of, of losing you, of not understanding why they were so afraid of losing you, not understanding the connection, kind of running from the connection because it was just all that energy. There's so much past life energy that just needs to be cleared up. But I feel like in this lifetime, you guys are clearing that energy. You do have this breakthrough and this freedom. You're ending this pattern because I think in a lot of your lives, you know, you guys lost each other. You guys went through all this pain and heartbreak. You guys, you know, we're separated from each other. You guys just, you you both have warrior spirits. And I think your person is just used to life being a battle. Um, if this resonates with you, I would recommend checking out my other Aquarius videos because I've been telling this past life story for a while. And in a couple of my past videos, I really go into detail about, um, you know, the, the history of your past life connection with this person. So if this is interesting to you, I would, I would check that out. But, um, but yeah, I feel like this lifetime, you guys are ending those, those patterns and cycles that you have of having to lose each other, of having to be in, in, in protest in war and rebellions, um, having to have life be a constant struggle. You know, poverty is also something from your past lives, just all this negativity from your past lives. And you're, you know, again, together you're ending it. And I think you guys are getting into this, this, you're going to be getting into this fun, free spirited, um, energy this lifetime, you know, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, in your past lives, I don't think you guys really had a chance to do this before because, again, everything was a battle. You guys were very important figures in history. Um, you, you, I think, I, because I keep getting Ireland and or Scotland, so I think, and I keep feeling like the Irish Rebellion. Like, I see, um, have you ever guys seen, have you guys, have you guys ever seen Peaky Blinders? Because I see them, like, dressing the way they do in Peaky Blinders. I see you guys dressing that way, and I see a town that looks kind of similar to that. Um, and you know, again, I, I just feel like you guys, you always had to leave rebellions. You always, it was just like, you have this, this, this pattern of self-sacrifice. Both of you do where it's like, you had to give up yourselves for the greater good. You had to focus on these really important causes throughout history. And, you know, you might have to do some, um, cord cutting rituals and spells, you know, you might need to do, um, like some spell work to, to end these past life patterns that have been repeating for you guys that might be important to end those old soul, soul contracts that keep repeating. But I, again, I think this lifetime you guys have this chance for adventure, for honeymoon, for, you know, to go on a vacation, to just do things that are just right for you. You know, putting yourselves first, finally, putting this relationship first, not just repeating these contracts of self-sacrifice. I think financially, too, you guys are going to be helping each other ahead. I think that, um, cause you're both go-getters. So this is like a power couple, I feel. So I think financially you're going to be helping each other or you're going to be like going into business together or doing something with finances here is what I'm getting. And yeah, you know, be, both of you have to be submissive to this sense of belonging, home, safe space, you know, just letting yourself be vulnerable, letting yourself feel, letting yourself be emotional, um, just opening up. And I sense... I get a shift with your person because I keep getting, you know, throughout these readings that I've done for you guys, I keep getting this energy of just, you know, it's a beautiful love story. They really love you, but I, I've gotten this very fearful energy in most of the readings that I've done for your person. It's like they're just so scared of losing you and they don't know why. And it's this, you know, this these past life experiences that they've had with you where you've died traumatically, violently. And it's traumatized them so much, like that pain of losing you has hurt them so much that in this lifetime, you know, it might seem like they're ghosting you or like they're running, like they've got fear of commitment and you're just trying to figure it out. And it's like, yeah, because they, you know, because they, they had to lose you before. That's why they're, that's why they're like this. That's why they're doing it. Um, but your person should never be abusive. Like this is a good person, just somebody who's afraid. This is a strong person. It's just somebody who's like, who's normally very strong, but around you, they're kind of awkward and scared. Um, 
But okay, so I feel I do feel a shift though. I do feel like this this pattern is finally ending. And it could be that you're watching these videos and you're doing the work to end them, like you're doing the cord cutting rituals and you're working on ending these patterns for the both of you and that's starting to take effect. But I, I do I do get a shift here. I really do get some kind of emotional shift with them because it's like before they were just kind of terrified even though they loved you and now I feel like they're they're kind of making up their mind that they do need and want you in their life like they're making up their mind that you are the one they are having these epiphanies I feel like the truth is coming out so this could be something you said you might have told them about this past life connection or said hey we're soulmates or you're my twin flame or like I feel like I've known you before something and they're taking that to heart like they're finally thinking about that and they're taking that seriously and, um, you know, they're choosing you is what I get. They're, they're, they're finally choosing you despite their fear is, is what I feel. Um, what can you tell me about what your person is going to be doing over the next couple of weeks towards you? Yeah, beauty, mystery, enchantment, vulnerability, receptivity. You know, they're, they're vulnerable to their feelings for you. They're open. They're um, noticing your beauty, your mystery, your enchantment. They're giving in to these like kind of romantic feelings. And you guys are very old souls, so you're both romantics, I feel. Even if they don't show it, they're still a romantic deep down. Publicity, social media, so probably watching you and wanting to talk to you. And they're really enchanted by you. I get kind of like a sexual energy from this, actually. Like they're looking at your pictures or they're just... Like, there, it's like a happy energy. Like, there's a shift. They're like, wow, I found my person. Like, they're having these epiphanies, these realizations. Like, this is true love. Like, I can't let this go. Um, you know, and they've been cold and guarded and distrusting in the past. But they want to come forward with a love offer and commitment now is what I feel. Like, they're trying to push past this energy. Um, they're kind of realizing that their fear is unfounded. I don't know if they're aware of the past life stuff or not. They could be. It could be through dreams. If your person is telepathic, if they're, if they're psychic like you are, then they might actually be aware of the past life connection. It might They might be. Because I do feel epiphanies. I do see the truth coming out, and I do see them having epiphanies. So you probably know what these epiphanies are, but it's like they're just aware. Um, it's like they're just kind of aware of, of this connection. Like they're becoming more and more... Uh, conscious of this you know um and yeah love offer commitment they're they're again they're coming they're pushing past this energy can you give me a few more clarifying cards here please choosing their words wisely planning the approach so yeah they're they're trying to figure out how to come forward what to say to you I think they're kind of scared of, of smothering you because I feel a very excited energy from them. So again, they might have had dreams, visions, something like, or something you said that stuck in their head that now they're thinking about it. There's just some kind of epiphany, like a big epiphany that they just had or that they're in the process of having or also maybe like these little epiphanies that have been building up over time. It's just something, some kind of realization that like, oh shit, this person is like the one. This person is my true love. Like this is real. Like there's just some kind of energy where they're just really aware of everything. And they've been afraid of commitment in the past. But, you know, they're still longing for you. They still have this nostalgia. They're realizing that despite their fears, they can't really just let you go. Yeah, so passion, romance, again, very romantic feelings here, wanting to make a love offer, having these epiphanies, um, just wanting to talk to you, wanting to be close to you. I, I sense like like schoolboy or schoolgirl kind of energy, like nervousness, excitement, anxiousness, like they just want to start this life with you. So it's a really beautiful energy here. If you've been doing the work to end these past life contracts, you know, keep it up because what you're doing is working. So thank you guys for watching. And, you know, again, if, if this resonates, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. And if you want to enter the raffle, it's only a dollar. And again, your chances are pretty good. And you will get a free in-depth reading video from me on the um, 22nd if you win. So thanks for watching.